Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Happy Cat Crypto here. Well, have I got an update for you folks. Now, there's lots of people that will just grab things straight away from wherever they see it and run to Twitter and post it with no investigation, no looking into it, no speaking to the people who are directly dealing with it, so to speak. Now, as you folks know, there has been a few messages from, you guessed it, Zarda. Now, if you believe that Zarda at any point has left Terra Rebels, you're wrong. Zarda is one of the people that actually created Terra Rebels and he's one of the greatest minds behind it. Cool, that's two times uh, recently with the medication alarm. Now, Zarda, he, the way he feels about this movement uh, from what I can gauge is just he lives, breathes and eats it. Now, but we're all due breaks and I know he went on a little bit of a holiday himself recently and we're all entitled to do that and there was a lot of misconception about him leaving and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. So anyway, as you can see, I would like the dev people who understand to go and want to help out to do a quick code review on this branch. Now you can see the branch here below. And it's the swap re-enablement re with a 10 billion cap on Luna Classic. Whitelisting of Binance wallets for the burn tax. I'm going to pause. Whitelisting of Binance wallets for the burn tax. So I've gone off. I have spoken to Zarda and then I've gone and looked on the GIT hub. And the first thing we have here to go through with you folks is these wallets. And as you can see, we've got burn tax address whitelist now what does this mean well it means they're preparing aren't they they're obviously preparing in anticipation that Binance is going to go for it now why would Binance go for something like this well they mentioned the burn tax a long long time ago so does this mean they're going to implement it no this means Terra Rebels are preparing in anticipation for them to do it now when you i know this from just from what i understand about wallets and things like that and doing the research that i have if you hold on a cex such as crypto.com or binance you will have a wallet address and a memo and that's because other users same they share the same wallet address as you but you have memos which actually allocate your funds to you okay now, does this mean that you're going to see the tax land on all of the wallets across the board? Well, yeah, it looks like it. And it looks like the main hot wallets on here as well, as you can see. So getting the 1.2% burn tax, if it does happen, implemented off chain is a game changer. Just getting it on chain is a game changer, but let alone getting it on one of the biggest exchanges, we would get through this um, supply in no time. And the one thing people need to remember about burning, right? And I've got a video dropping on this in the morning. It's not the answer 100%. It's only part of a very, very large problem. And the big problem is utility. We've lost a lot of utility on the chain and we need to work on bringing that back. And it's no good us having projects that come along and take liquidity from the blockchain itself. Um, it's not good. It's not healthy for the blockchain. What's a good example of this? LunkDAO does this in a very positive way for us because he takes liquidity from the main net. He brings it to the classic net and then he burns it. But the one big um, kind of, you know, debate that's out there, it is the debate of what burning does. Is there any evidence to support that it makes the price go up? No, there actually isn't. And you can Google it. Zardar's brushed up on this as of many other people like Raider and other people like that. And they've said about how important the utility is to this blockchain. Now, going back over to the whole situation with Binance and this preparation I've always believed that there's some some kind of greater plan that Binance has and maybe this is part of it 
And from what I can see, and I'll be making contact with as many more people as I can on Monday because you can't, a lot of people are away with their families. I myself am single. It's just me, myself and my cat. And we're just here providing updates for you, which is great because I don't have any like hiccups or dramas really in my own life, which prevent me from doing this. And my my whole life is dedicated to this. Like a lot of YouTubers are have been in this for a long time. They've covered a lot of different coins They've been through many trends, but I started this because of Luna Classic, because of the fact no one was reporting on Luna Classic. And now everybody's reporting on Luna Classic because it's popular. I get it. That's what influencers do. But we're always here to stay and we're always here to provide the best, most direct updates that we can. And from what I can tell, Zada doesn't prepare, <clears throat> doesn't prepare for things if he doesn't think it's going to happen. It's a lot of work that looks like it's being put into the anti-handler right now for the burn tax system on this. And it it's amazing. It's utterly amazing. And you've just had the release of V0.5.22. This was released two days ago, but they have officially announced it in the Terror Rebels Discord. And the announcement is pretty much just explaining about everything. Uh, mostly about the introduction of a burn tax anti-handler that can be activated by a parameter change proposal and uh, sorry parameter parameter j um via parameter proposal and the whole point we have a changeable burn tax is for the simple fact that as we burn more coins that 1.2 percent burn tax is not going to be as effective as it was before it could either be overly effective or under effective so to speak so it will need tweak and it will need change and as time goes on so we're yet to see how that's all going to play out but it looks like all of the correct things are happening and just to see that there's preparation happening on git hub and i mean no one's even commented on this yet i commented on it saying holy moly and done a rocket ship myself because <laughs> if we get if we get enough utility, okay, it's going to do wonders for the blockchain. But if we don't bring any utility and we just sit there burning coins and we all sit on a bag and we don't have no reason to trade our coins, use them, uh, get rewards and all kind of things like that, what's the point in us burning coins? I mean, if all of us just sit on a bag, we burn our coins, we've still got to deal with this humongous elephant in the room, which is the hot wallet. And it holding 40% of the supply of Luna Classic. So there's 40% of the, the supply that's not actually accessible from one wallet. And that's just from one wallet. Imagine how much is not accessible from users, other exchanges and things like this. So it's all food for thought. I'll leave the links for the V22 uh, in the description for you folks. So you can go back and uh, look at that. I'll leave the uh, links to this so you folks can come on. You can check this out and you can go through and you can do all your own little bits of investigation and double check all of these wallets, so to speak, because as it stands, it's freedom of information here on HCC. I see a lot of YouTubers charging for information faster than they would give it to the actual communities. And I hope this information finds you well. I hope you gauged a little bit of good um, positive momentum for the movement itself and to show you that it's key to keep utility on the blockchain and not allow it to wander off so to speak and to fish out bad actors that are in it to take utility from the blockchain and because we're all here to fix this right and taking utility away is not helping the blockchain it's it's actually making it worse and with the amount of coins that be have been burnt recently right we should be in theory if the burn theory is correct. And it's it's horrible for me to say this because I believe in my own two burn initiatives and I believe in the burning of coins, but it needs to be combined. OK, it's like getting cement, isn't it? Um, and then just throwing the cement down, slapping the bricks on it and it just not working. Right. You need water. You need the bonding um, elements for the cement It's everything works together utility burning and just keeping everything on the blockchain is so key to our future now and we are at a point where it is going to start getting pretty dead serious and the ship we sail on is the lunar classic ship 
and we are all Lunk Penguins. We are huddled, okay? And you folks deserve to have a good blockchain, to not be treated like fools, um, used as a cash cow, used as a quick grab. Um, you deserve better than that, and you've all held bags for very long. So I hope you are all um, very eager to stake uh, very excited to stake as well and we're going to be doing lots of manuals lots of tutorials step-by-step -step guides top tips and things like that for you folks so you know all the ins and outs of staking as we roll up to it so folks stay safe out there it's not financial advice if you haven't subscribed here consider subscribing we're about to hit 9k we're less than five months old uh, sorry four months old um and yeah we're just doing really well and i really appreciate everybody that is subscribed here and helps us gain reach and helps us just grow daily and i thank you all for believing in me because it's giving up my life to do this with you folks has completely changed the way my day-to-day -day events go and i just i cannot feel any more blessed to just have the trust of you folks and listening to me listening to things that i've got to say so do stay safe out there it's in my best intentions to keep you all as safe as i can be aware of the whatsapp numbers and things like that because they are out there they do post them and sometimes i can't be everywhere at once as you know i'm, I'm just a human so yeah we'll catch you in the next one not financial advice True.